Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today I have this walkthrough of the Japanese version of Ace Combat 3 focused on unlocking the true ending of the game. For most of you, this isn't anything new. The Japanese version of the game features five different endings and there's a sixth ending as well, which reveals the truth behind the game's universe. And it's only available in the original Japanese version as the American and European version had massive cut content and story changes. Unlocking the true ending requires you to complete the game in the other five, and this is what I'll explain in this video. And it just so happens that a new translation patch for this game was released months ago, featuring a more accurate translation, and I did a video on it showing you how to apply the patch and get everything to work. It is the best way you can play the proper version of Ace Combat 3 right now. There are 52 missions in total spread in these different paths and for this video I'm gonna be using this diagram that I've come across to illustrate where the decisions will occur and how you should proceed. Worth pointing out that the true ending will trigger after you complete the fifth ending. The order of completion of each ending does not matter. Even though this diagram I'm using seems to imply that, just remember to save in-game every time one of the endings is completed. Using a save state for speeding things up will not work since that makes you go back in time pretty much, right? Your progress won't be registered like this, but you can save in-game on mission 4 for example so you don't have to start over from mission 1 every time you finish an ending. I didn't think of this when I was editing this video so I had to edit the video once more and include this option which will save a lot of time on this. And also this diagram recommends one way of completing everything but in my case I'm gonna be starting with the canopy of stars path and ending with the electrosphere path. That is going from left to right using this diagram. I think it's better to do it like this. You will begin as a UPO pilot and the first decision happens on the fourth mission paper tiger. At the end, you can choose between following Fiona and continue to be a Yupio fighter or follow Dijon and enjoy general resource. We are sticking with Fiona for this one. When you get to the sixth mission, Ghost of the Past, failing or succeeding at finding the secret base will change which mission occurs next, but it won't affect the outcome of the final mission, so it's entirely optional. One way or another, the ending will be the same. Refer to the diagram guide for what you can do in this situation. After you complete mission 7, remember to save in-game because at mission number 8 you will make another relevant decision. At the end you can either shoot Eric or Fiona down. For this path we're gonna destroy Fiona's plane, the R505 and continue with Yupio. From this point forward there will be no more choices, so just complete the missions as you see fit and then you will have completed the Canopy of Stars path. Save the game and start over from Mission 8. Now back at Mission 8, this time, however, you have to shoot down Eric's plane. This will make you take the Nucon path. Complete the first three missions and save in-game on a new slot, and when you arrive at the end of Mission 4, Utopian Dreams, another choice will happen. We are staying with Nucon on this one, so follow Fiona's plane. From there, it's a straight line until the end. Another five missions will occur and then you will have completed the Soul Survivor ending. Save the game and go back to the save file from Mission 8. Now, at the end of Utopian Dreams, you will now follow Cynthia at the end. Enjoy the Aroboros organization. From here, there's only four missions, so it's another straight path until the end and you will have completed the self-awareness ending. Load the save file from mission 4, Paper Tiger. Instead of following Fiona like we've been doing all this time, we will be choosing to stick with Vision. That would take us to general resource. There are two missions in here that can unlock a alternate mission, Mega Float and Stratosphere. The conditions to unlock these missions will be on the diagram, but the level we are interested in is called Dilemma, the 8th mission of this path. 
and after you complete mission 7, remember to save in-game. At the end, we will be following Keith and staying with General Resource as Dijon flees to Ouroboros. There are another 5 missions for this path and completing the final level will unlock the Geopelia ending. Save the game and restart from mission 7. And now for the final choice, we will be choosing to stay with Dijon for the Ouroboros 2 path. There's only another 5 missions left and at the end you will be fighting Dijon in the iconic Electrosphere fight and unlocking the ending with the same name. Right after this the true ending will play. I'll put that one here at the end of the video if you want to see it for yourself. And this is how you complete all the endings of Ace Combat 3. It can be a tiring process since unlocking new branches requires you to start from the beginning and even repeating parts of one branch so that you can unlock a new one, but I hope that using one of these diagram guides and with my explanation, it will have at least make the process a bit more clear to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you liked the video and leave a like and a comment too. I would really appreciate it and I'll play the true ending right after this with the new translation patch, so be aware of spoilers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. どうあの今までの出来事、記憶をすべて忘れ、その目でこの世界の現実をしっかりと知るがいい。この世界が誰が何のために作ったものなの。さあ、あらかじめ仕組まれた物語など存在しない。ゲームを始めよう。